So this is NES Godzilla, Chapter 1, Earth and Mars. When I was a little kid, the two things I loved most in life were Godzilla and NES games. So naturally, when Godzilla Monster of Monsters came out, it was like a dream come true. Well, almost. To sum it up, most of the game revolved around getting through very repetitive outer space levels while smashing up tanks and jets, then fighting against and then fighting against Godzilla's monster enemies. Overall, it was pretty mediocre, but back then I didn't care. But when I got the game as a present for my 10th birthday, I played it night and day as much as I could. Unfortunately, I traded the game for Amagon a year later. Much to my regret when I found out what that game was like. Recently, I bought a new NES system and through a lot of hunting and asking around, my friend Billy managed to find a copy of Godzilla Monster of Monsters. I was pumped to play my favorite childhood game. It never occurred to me to ask where Billy found it. He also gave me some other games like Legend of Zelda, Bomberman, and some stupid thing called Action 52, but Godzilla had to come first. So I started the game, and the nostalgia came flooding back like a tidal wave. Godzilla's 8-bit theme song flooded proudly through the speakers. And I was soon grinning like an idiot. <laughs> Some people laugh at me playing such outdated games, but I've never had as much enjoyment for any games other than the, those on the NES. Those 8-bit games take me back to when things were much simpler, more, more safe. But after what's happened with this game, I don't have those feelings anymore. I'd forgotten how quick the fun of smashing things as Godzilla wore off in the scrolling level levels. The game bombards you with bullets and things you, crashing into you from every direction, and you're too big to avoid most of them. Although my excitement had worn down some, it wasn't long at all before I got to my first boss battle. My first opponent was Gizera, an obscure squid kaiju who had never been in a Godzilla movie. The most annoying thing about fighting Gizera is that he always backs you into a corner and starts smacking you with his tentacle. And you're unable to move until he gets off you. The move doesn't do any damage, but it can stall you until the timer runs out and you have to start the fight over. And he, gains some health, and he regains some health. It is annoying as it sounds. Uh, and of course, he did it when I fought him, only for some reason this caused the game to glitch up. Because once he started smacking me around, he never stopped. The timer was supposed to end the fight about in about 40 seconds, but this lasted nearly five minutes. After a while, the graphics started to mess up with little red blocks all over the place. Which was weird, but I just took the game out blew on it, and started it again. I wasn't about to let this little glitch, let a little glitch stand in my way. So I started again, and this time defeated Gizera and the level's other boss monster, Mogera, without any pro pro problems. So then it was on to the next planet, Mars. I browsed around the board and found something unexpected. Where Varan's piece should have been there was instead a piece representing Titanosaurus. There were only 10 kaiju in the game, and Titanosaurus was not one of them. Or so I thought. Perhaps Titanosaurus was originally intended to be in the game, but was swapped out with Varan for some reason? So I began to feel very excited. Not only was I playing my favorite game, but I was playing a prototype of some sort of, with 
prototype of some sort with a new monster. Uh, needless to say, I ran through the levels as fast as I could to see Titanosaurus in action. Fought Gizera again and beat him before he could do his tentacle smack. But this time, the glitch started happening when he died. Gizera's sprite didn't sink to the bottom, but instead seemed to be devoured by the glitch. And his eye started randomly spawning all over the screen. I know now that these glitches with Gizera were my first warning sign that something was very wrong with this game. But foolishly, I ignored it and proceeded to f on to fight Mogera, which this time had a glitch of his own. Mogero was twice the size he should have been, which startled me. He was considerably harder to beat than usual, which is to say not at all. But as soon as I defeated him, when he died, yet another glitch happened. This happened extremely fast, so I was lucky to get a scream cap from it, of it all. But what happened was that the giant Mogera spray started to shatter and melt. Also, if you... If you look at the garbled text in the right corner of the screen, you'll notice what appears to be a bird in a cage. I, I still have no idea what that meant. At this point, I was about to fight Titanosaurus, and I was worried as to what glitches would happen this time. But to my surprise, Titanosaurus looked just fine. Although all the game's bipedal monsters were the same height, Titanosaurus was a bit taller. But since Titanosaurus was actually taller than Godzilla in the film in his film debut, I thought it was actually kind of cool. After a very fun night with the monster that wasn't supposed to be in the game, I took over the enemy base and proceeded not to Jupiter like normal, but instead to Pathos.